good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video i will be discussing about the effort lines now we know that the effort lines can be found on the life line okay can be found on the fate line as well and this indicates towards the timing where the person pushes extra or the person is giving his extra and that's why it's succeeding especially if the line is long and strong and dark okay and going till the end of the mount okay so these are referred to as the effort lines obviously if you have marks like dots or if you have marks of islands all these kind of things which are the negative marks will always reduce the effect of the effort but if it is smooth with 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 a very dark line it will always indicate some kind of a success and the larger darker the line the better it is now you will generally observe that you know the effort lines go in a particular direction but you will see this phenomena for a, which which would be consistent over a time what i mean to say is that you might see lines like these okay so all these lines are indicating towards the mount of jupiter so you see all the effort lines are marking towards the mount of jupiter now this means that the person is uh, uh, is is very status driven ambitious because that's why it's going towards jupiter it also is a uh, you know uh, is a positive indicator in in most of the cases that the person is also going through jupiter mahadasha now why do i say that during jupiter mahadasha the person becomes like a jupiterian and that's why most of the effort is pushed in a jupiterian way and that's why these lines become like these now similarly if let's say after after these markings you'll see a lot of lines going towards the center of the palm and we know that after the jupiter mahadasha comes the saturn mahadasha and that's why these efforts uh, start going towards saturn so that is how these effort line have a connection with the mahadasha looking at the direction of the effort line to an extent we can tell that the person had undergone what kind of mahadasha okay now another uh, important point which i wanted to make in this video is that compared to the effort lines in different directions the effort line made towards saturn is the most trickiest effort line because uh, whenever the effort line is directed towards saturn it indicates towards a lot of struggle and a lot of hard work but nevertheless whenever the lines ends up at the saturn or crossing the heart line we know that the person gets success of a different level altogether this is because saturn blesses a person who is more perseverant and consistent so that is how uh, you know the effort lines have to be looked into now another important point is the ring of solomon okay the ring of solomon is always a curved line never confuse it with a straight line many people have confused with the straight line but ring of solomon is always a ring and it indicates towards a person who is sensitive helping caring nurturing and also has the gift of intuition and at times also the person will have leadership quality okay now uh, again uh, you know at times what you will find is that <clears throat> at times you will find that there is a prong, a prong like structure coming from this part of the hand okay near the end of the ha headline you will see a, this kind of y like a structure kind of coming in now this can indicate sometimes towards insomnia okay people who find it very difficult to sleep and do not get any sleep they tend to have such a marking and you have to be careful whenever you see such a marking uh, you have to relax this kind of a person it's probably because of anxiety that the person is not able to sleep so whenever you relax him more and more uh, there are higher possibility of this person getting a peaceful sleep it's it's because the nervous system is very active that this person is not able to sleep at all right now again uh, you know uh, the islands also i wanted to explain as to how do they work and uh, so that you get a more clearer picture now for example if a heart line uh, if an island is present on the heart line between the mercury and apollo we know that the qualities of mercury and apollo caused the island effect to come uh, to come at the first place so that is how wherever the island is present check into the which mounts are affecting the islands and we can understand its working by applying the negatives of that mount for example here 
the island is created because a situation was created where there was uh, lack of sunish qualities that is lack of creativity lack of um, you know refineness again mercury is also coming in so that means it was uh, not that in uh, maybe lack of intellectuality which all led to kind of an emotional disturbance so that is how we can keep counter checking uh, you know uh, the islands so hopefully got few more points across in this video i'm shwetank and to palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day and also if you want to you know give a reading or take a reading call me at 89515068344 you can email me at shwetankpalmistry@gmail.com and also if you want to learn palmistry just give an email across the same one that is shwetank Okay, S H W A T A N K P A L M I S T R Y at the rate gmail dot com. You can just send an email saying that you want to learn palmistry, and then I would consider that. So hopefully you got a lot of points across. I'm sure. Thank. Take care. Bye bye.